Uske ma! Uske ma! This is Bladnock Distillery. Just near uh, Wigtown in Galloway. And it's a lovely wee place, lovely wee distillery, right next to the river. So just had a tour and we taste there, it was very nice, as usual. And I'm just going to spin around for absolutely no reason whatsoever. I also purchased a 20 year old Black Dog single malt, uh, which for 35 quid is just pretty good. Pretty good indeed. There it is, uh, 20 year old single Lowland malt. Non chill filter, actually, which is a very nice one. That bridge there. That's the River Bloodnock, by the way. Fan Dango, as they say. In 1994, the Bloodnock distillery was essentially mothballed and closed down. And it was thought that uh, the last whiskey uh, had been distilled at Bloodnock. And there was a lot of talk about being converted into a old folks home or something like that. And it was pretty much assumed that no more whiskey would be made there. But at the last moment, an Irishman, Mr. Raymond Armstrong, purchased a distillery in 95 and reopened the distillery for production in the year 2000. And the first eight year old product produced by the new team became available in 2009. So, generally, still quite recent. Um, they're also doing. Um, their own whiskey bottlings and buying casks from other distilleries and quite notable uh, distilleries including lost classics like Canvas and they're bottling them at a reasonable price and selling them off at a distillery under the name of uh, Badnock Forum Bottlings and if you go into the website and sign in there you can get another further discount on these bottles and it's jolly good they are. It's a hidden. It's a hidden. Okay, so that's Bladnock. I am now heading up via, via Girvan to check out the Girvan Grain Distillery, which also housed the old Lady Burn uh, single malt distillery. Okay, bye. Here I am in Girvan, home of Elsa Craig. And that is Elsa Craig. And here to see the grain distillery, which is somewhere up there. I don't exactly know where exactly, but that's where I'm going. So this is the Gerben Grain Distillery. It's owned by William Grant and Sons. So the, the grain spirit that's produced here all goes into the Grant blend, you would assume. Um, Formerly on this site was the Lady Burn Distillery, which worked within the walls of this uh, complex. This was opened in 1966 with two pot stills. It was closed nine years later and demolished in 1976. So Lady Burn is a very rare single malt, also under the name of Ayrshire. But also recently, uh, William Grant decided that he needed another set of pot stills and attached them under the name of Ilsa Craig. Uh, Ilsa Bay, sorry. And this is quite a recent, uh, recent move, uh, recent construction at the grain complex, and there's nothing available as a single malt yet. Um, whether or not this will happen in due course, we'll have to wait and see. Kelly, huh? Uskwal. Uskwal.